Hello everybody. Today we will continue explaining the nervous and endocrine systems. We already explained the neuron and the structure of the neuron and the function of neurons. Now, today we will explain the neuro how the neurons receive and transmit signals. Guys, let's consider when you wake up in the morning. Now, the, the, the alarm on your phone will trigger, uh, stimulate the neurons inside your ears. Now, this signal will go up to your brain, prompting you to either get out of the bed or hit the snooze button. I know most of you hit the snooze button for four or five times. Now, okay, the neurons transmit information in the form of electrical and chemical impulses. How this happen? How this process from A to Z? Today, we will try to explain it for you. Now, before the neuron is stimulated, normally, guys, your neuron cell is in a resting state, at rest. We call this resting potential. Resting potential means that the inside of the cell is negatively charged, while outside is positively charged. Okay? Now, this resting potential occurs because there are an equal concentration of ions inside and outside the neurons. What does this mean? We have two types of ions inside uh, controlling this process. The sodium ions, Na, and the potassium ions, K. Now, these ions cause the resting potential. Notice both of these ions are positively charged. We will return to this. I will return to this later on. Now, more sodium ions are present outside the cell than inside it. So we have more sodium ions outside the cell than inside the cell. And this is the major reason why outside the cell is positive while inside the cell is negative. Inside the cell, we can find fewer potassium ions. Fewer potassium ions means uh, the negatively charged of the inside of the cell. Now, along the cell membrane, we have proteins. These proteins will facilitate the diffusion of sodium ions and potassium ions in and outside of the cell. We call, for example, we have the sodium potassium pump. The sodium potassium pump, which uses energy to actively transport sodium ions outside of the cell and bring potassium ions into the cell. Also, this process helps to maintaining the resting potential. I will explain it further in the next figure. Now, guys, if you can bear with me just a little bit, this is where it gets a little complicated, but no worries, it's easy. Now, let's start here. This is the end, the terminal of the axon. This is the axon. Do you remember, guys? This is the cell body. These are the dendrites. Now, normally, the neuron, the neuron cells connected like this. The dendrites from the cell will be connected to the terminal of the axon of the next cell. And this area, we call it, we call it synapse, right? Now, in order to any signal, that is caused by any stimuli. For example, you touch something very hot. You clapped your finger like this. You're tapping on your table. So, 
any action. How does this action happen? Now, inside the cell, as you can see here, negatively charged. Outside, positively charged. Outside, we have sodium ions. Inside, we have less potassium ions. Now, a stimuli happen. The sodium channels, the sodium potassium pump, do you remember it? This. This. Will open. And the sodium ions outside will rush quickly into the cell and make the inside of the cell at a certain area positively charged. This will make the signal move forward. As long as it's positive inside, the signal will keep moving. Can you see? This is now the signal is here, then it transferred to here and it moved to here. And notice that the inside always positive. As long as the sodium keeps rushing into the cell, the signal keeps moving forward. Now, at the same time, the potassium channel open. Now, allowing the potassium to move out, to diffuse outside of the cell, making the cell back, making the, the, the cell back to its resting potential that is negatively charged inside. Okay, so as long as the sodium keeps rushing into the cell, making the inside negative, causing the signal to move forward, at the same time, potassium will, will diffuse outside of the cell, backing the cell to its resting potential. Okay, now, the impulse will keep moving until it reaches the synapse the synapse guys this is where the terminal of the axon meets the dendrites of the next uh, nerve cell notice here guys when we say when we say uh, the impulse what is the impulse exactly it's translated into something we call it neurotransmitters neurotransmitters is the chemical uh, the chemical form of the impulse okay so the neurotransmitter guys is the chemical signal of the nervous system now we let's say uh, someone touched a very hot surface or cloud or did do any anything that cause an, an impulse now the neuron will transfer will transform from resting potential to an action potential action potential means guys that the uh, this uh, cause a change in a charge distribution that triggers a moving electrical impulse okay so the action potential is the moving of the impulse causes the moving of the impulse now the action potential happen and the impulse is moving through the neuron cell through the axon to the next neuron cell we already explained how the pumps works now when the impulse reaches the synapse the neurotransmitter will be transported via vesicles. Do you remember in any eukaryotic cell, uh, the eukaryotic cell has something called vesicles, which are uh, like the transportation proteins that, let's consider it, consider the, the uh, public buses, okay? If people were neurotransmitters, then the public buses are the vesicles. Now, these vesic vesicles will reach the end of the terminal, releasing the neurotransmitter, and receptors from the next dendrites will receive these 
neurotransmitter and along with that the sodium ions will keep rushing into diffusing into the cell membrane causing the impulse to continue okay now to to to, to summarize an impulse caused by certain stimulus okay now the signal started the resting potential means that inside of the cell is negative outside positive we have proteins that responsible for diffusing facilitating sorry for diffusing the sodium ions out inside and the potassium ions outside now as long as the sodium diffusing inside the inside of the cell will be positively charged keeping the impulse moving forward okay at the same time the potassium pro, uh, channels will diffuse the potassium outside of the cell backing the cell into its resting potential now the action potential happened because of some stimuli that causing a charge okay now the the impulse will keep moving through the axon until it reaches the synapse the synapse when it reaches the synapse as long as inside of the cell is positively charged and outside is negatively charged the vesicles that containing the neurotransmitter okay neurotransmitter again guys it's the chemical signals of the nervous system okay so the chemical signals are the neurotransmitters really uh, the physicals releases the neurotransmitters into the receptors of the dendrites of the next neuron okay and the sodium keeps rushing in making the inside of the cell positive and the impulse will keep moving forward so this is how the transmission uh, the, of the signal inside the neuron happen from the resting potential okay until it reaches the next neuron okay guys now any new action potential will will go the same way and the cell will go back to the resting potential resting potential means the inside of the cell will be negative and the outside will be positive okay guys thank you very much i hope you understand everything uh thank you and i hope you'll be safe see you next time